Hi guys, it's Kate, and today I'm going to be doing a um, skim routine slash get ready with me. I'm not really doing anything today, but I just figured, like, so I posted something on my Instagram, and I asked, comment below what, like, what videos you want me to film, and a bunch of people said skin routine, and I figured I don't really do much for my skin, so I would just, like, also do my makeup, like, at the same time. So let's just <laughs> get into the video. Okay, for skin, the major thing that I use almost every single day, but I use the um, uh, the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub um, with Activating Charcoal. This is like super amazing. I use it every day. I literally just used it in the shower. My face is like a little red. I like leave that on my entire shower. For moisturizer, I use the um, Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Oil-Free Acne Moisturizer. This one, it works really well. I don't use it that much because my skin is kind of oily. So I like rarely use it unless like I have really bad sunburn, then I'll use it because my face will start peeling. And then after the moisturizer, I usually do the Mario Bedencio Rose Water Spray. The facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water it's really good i would recommend getting it um that's like kind of all i do for my skin i don't really like do much for it so that's like all i do for makeup wipes i use the sephora collection charcoal exfoliating wipes they work really well i just needed makeup wipes i usually use the burt's bees original ones but i didn't feel like going to cvs because i was at Sephora, so I was like, I'll just get these, whatever, I don't care. I think they actually sell the Burt's Bees ones at Sephora. Um, and that's like it for my skin routine, like those are the only products I use. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the makeup. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna actually use um, the moisturizer because I literally like just got out of the shower and have it even put anything on my face. I literally just use like a pea amount because my face is super oily. Not like all the time, but my face is just like really shiny. Okay, I have that, the Mario Bedencia Rose Water Spray. I just do like three, three squirts, <laughs> that's all I need. I usually like wave it and then get tired of waiting for it, so I just like rub it in with my um, moisturizer. Okay. And then after I do that, I try to like let my, like let it all like sink in. So I usually do either eyebrows or yeah, I'm just gonna do eyebrows first. Oh, also, if you want, like, this toner, it's also by um, Derma E. It's really, really nice. I got it in my Itzy package, and I used the entire bottle. This is literally just Miracle water I filled it up in for, like, a to-go thing, so I could, like, bring it back and forth between, like, my mom's and my dad's. So, we're gonna fill in eyebrows. I don't really do much to my eyebrows, but... We're just gonna fill them in. Sorry if you can hear like my nephew screaming. My mom's watching him. So I kind of just like randomly. Alright, that looks <laughs> good to me. <laughs> and then I just like come through them a little bit. Next I use um bronzer. I put bronzer all over my face because when I went tanning, I fell asleep with my t-shirt over my face. So my face is like three shades lighter than the rest of my body. So we just put bronzer like kind of all over. 
I used the Too Faced, um, I'm medium deep matte bronze. I'm in the shade medium deep. So we're just gonna put that everywhere. And I don't even know, this is a beauty professional brush, angled brush. It's the contour cheek brush. Okay. <laughs> I literally just put this all over my face. Alright, now that's kind of made my skin tone look more even. <laughs> and like, it kind of like, I say like so much. It kind of makes my face look less pink, even though it's really pink. <laughs> because I have pink undertones. So, um, yeah, now we're just gonna actually contour. <laughs> I usually just like draw a line down my cheekbone and then just like blend it in circles so it's not like harsh. Sorry, it keeps hitting my stand. And then I usually do like my hairline because it's like white. <laughs> and then a little bit of my jawline. So I pretty much just do like a three with my contour. <laughs> okay, and now that we're done with that, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight. We're using the Becca in the shade Opal with this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, but I use it as my, like, as, um, as you can tell, there's so much, like, there's so much <laughs> highlight in this. I use the concealer brush as a highlighter brush because I like the way it, the way it's made. No, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm not a beauty guru. And we're just literally gonna... Well, I just put so much on. It's fine. You can work with it. <laughs> and then a little bit on my nose. I do like an exclamation point on my nose. Like do like right there and then the tip. And I usually do my upper lip. And then I use my finger for my eyebrows because whenever I use the brush, I always get it in my actual eyebrow and then it just looks really black. All right, so that's it for that. <laughs> my nephew is screaming. For mascara, I usually use either the Benefit Bad Girl Mascara or I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This one is probably my favorite because it's like, especially like for summer because it's super thin. It just makes your eyelashes look darkened. And I really like this one, but I don't like mascaras that like clump off, not clump off. I can't think of like what I'm trying to say, but mascaras that like, you know, like, after a while, when you get, like, little pieces, like, under your eyes, that's what that mascara does, and it really makes me really mad, because I hate mascaras that do that. Like, that's why I stopped wearing the Better Than Sex mascara, because it always does that. Even though it does make my eyelashes look super good, I just, like, I hate mascaras that do that. So I just, I usually use the L'Oreal, Tel oh my goodness, I usually use the L'Oreal Telescopic mascara because it's really good, and it's super cheap, so, like, that's nice. <laughs> All right, and then I use the Tarte Eyelash Curler 
And one of my hacks, because my eyelashes are like, my top ones are like kind of curled, but mostly straight. So what I do is I use a lighter and I heat up my eyelash curler. So let's just, I have some mascara on here. Whatever, I'll just wipe it off. Yeah, I just like, I literally just heat up my eyelash curler. And then I usually like take my t-shirt and wipe it off of it. Cause sometimes I like, bur like leaves burned marks. And then don't put it on right away. Cause then you'll burn your eyelid. <laughs> I've done that multiple times. I always burn myself. But like literally just like look at the difference. It's a hack, I'm telling you to do it. Oh my god. Excuse my nails also. I literally just ripped off all my acrylics and they look so bad. <laughs> gonna apply the mascara a brush looks like this if you can see it it's really tiny and I really like that because then you can actually like get in on your waterline maybe that's a good time I like really natural looking mascaras I don't know why let's start on the other eye because Okay, and now for bottom lashes. I just stabbed myself in the eye. <laughs> okay, now that I have mascara on, I'm just gonna go through with the, um, the Q-tip one more time and get all of the little pieces of mascara that are on my eye. Oh, great, I have some literally in my eyebrow. I think that's good enough. <laughs> I honestly don't really care like what I look like ever. So that's kind of cool. I usually get my tweezers. Um, these are the Pro Tools tweezers and they're like extremely sharp. And I just use them to like separate the chunky parts of my lashes. Okay, so after that's done, that's pretty much like my entire makeup routine. I just like super natural makeup, so it's not like too much, but it's something like this is literally what I wear every single day. I use the same products. I've, I don't branch out. <laughs> and then I usually put on this chapstick. Um, it's the Smith Rosebud salt i don't know i i just saw it all today and was like this looks pretty and then got it okay yeah that was my entire makeup routine and skin routine okay so i just finished editing and i realized that i never said that i don't wear concealer or foundation and that i do not like the feeling of either of them on my skin I used, okay, so I used to do competitive cheerleading. If you know me, you knew that. I did it for, like, roughly 10 years. And I had to wear full face of makeup all the time. And I hated it. I hate foundation. I hate concealer. Hate is a really strong word, but I just, I wear concealer sometimes only if I, my face is, like, breaking out really bad. And I never, my face never really breaks out that much. So I usually never wear it. I just like everything like a little bit natural and just enhancing my natural features. And yeah, so <laughs> that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.